Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. In preparation for Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2, I've decided to go back and re-watch Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey because the first time I watched it, I was doing the ironing because I didn't have any interest in it whatsoever and it wasn't that good. But the reason I didn't do a review for it last year is because I was only half-heartedly watching it. So I felt like it wasn't fair for me to do a review for it because I wasn't really paying attention. But I watched it last night and I paid attention, so this is the review for it. There is going to be spoilers in this review if you care about it, so don't watch if you don't want to see any spoilers. But if you don't mind or if you've seen it, then continue watching. First off, we get an interesting little backstory with the drawings at the beginning of the movie. And we've got an adult Christopher Robin going back to the Hundred Acre Wood after a long time from when the last time he went as a kid and he takes his wife there and the, she ends up getting killed and he gets taken by the adult versions of Winnie the Pooh and Friends. The reason that they're killing people now is because they resent Christopher for leaving them as kids. As much as that scene and that story was stupid, I think I would have preferred to have seen that evolve more than what we got next because what we got next was a bunch of girls who rent out this house in the middle of nowhere, probably an Airbnb, and then they get stalked and killed off one by one from Pooh and friends. It's a basic premise. There's nothing interesting to it. There's no interest in characters. There's no really good character dynamic, no good arc between any of the characters whatsoever. It's just basically these girls in this house and around the surrounding areas and they get picked off one by one. There is some nice scenery and you can tell that this was shot on location. They probably used the house from one of the, the crew members' families and when you see the, the, the garage in the middle of nowhere, it's probably an abandoned area that they just set up for the scenery, scenery. Sorry, So the scenery was actually quite nice considering it was a very cheap movie. The acting was obviously off. We even had this random American guy in the garage as well. I think hearing an American in a British movie sounds weird when you're watching an independent film like this because you would expect everyone to be local around because it's an independent movie. So seeing an American guy there, I'm like, whoa, that just sounds pretty weird. I'm no actor and that's probably why I'm not in any movies, but you can tell some of these actors aren't really actors. They're just friends of maybe the people that are making the movie. And there are some scenes where some of the, the characters are very aware of the cameras around them. And that's just basic, something that I would probably know myself not to be fully aware of the, the cameras. But again, I'm not giving any acting lessons here. I just think the acting in the movie was pretty bad. The costumes and the makeup were pretty bad as well. I can't really complain because it is a really low budget film at the end of the day. I don't know where they originally got the masks from. I'm sure they, they've probably mentioned in interviews and stuff, but the costume designs were terrible. And I think, don't quote me on this, guys, and this might not be true, but I've got a funny feeling that the makers of the film went into a shop one day and they saw this these costumes with, or they saw the masks and thought, wouldn't it be funny if we made a movie about these Winnie the Pooh and Friends killing people? And that's maybe how they started. They got the costumes first and then the story evolved around that. I didn't like the score. I didn't like the sound effects either. I think they both sounded like they were from stock audio when you see people getting killed and stuff that doesn't really match up with what's happening and the audio just sounds like other audio that you hear on stock audio websites. If anything the only positive I can really give you for this one was the kills. The kills were pretty inventive. They weren't the best looking kills but I think the way that they planned the kills out it sounded to, it looks to me like maybe they were focused more on the kills than anything else. You can also tell that the story of Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and Friends was just a gimmick for the film because because if you strip those back, you could just see this schlocky, low-budget film that was made probably with a bunch of friends. That's what it looks like. If you take Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh out of this, then you've just got the same storyline without those characters. The gimmick is bringing Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin in because obviously they're public domain now. You can use those characters. So those are the characters to get you drawn into the movie. The film felt too small and independent for how big social media made this look. And I don't blame the filmmakers for this because I think they genuinely set out to make a film that was supposed to be a lot of fun for them to make. But because social media can be strange, social media has picked this up and they've saw Winnie the Pooh in a horror film and it's grew arms and legs. And the filmmakers are thinking, 
what do we do with this now? How do we market this? Because we're getting traction. We need to do something. And then the final product was the final product that they expected to, to give us, but not the final product that a lot of people were expecting. That's why the film got really bad reviews. Looking at it as an independent film between friends, it's fine. But watching it as a film that's supposed to be taken seriously, it's an abomination. In terms of how big this film is supposed to be now taken, it's a really bad film. And I mean really bad. But between friends... I think it's, it's a lot of fun. So what are your thoughts on Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey? Don't talk about part two because that's coming up after this. So leave your comments down below, guys. Let me know what you think of this movie and I'll talk to you soon. Meeting adjourned. I'll be right back. What are you waiting for, huh? Coming to get you, Barbara. Ever played Skin the Cat. Ah! in the back. Tell me where you are, John! Wolfman's gone. <gasps>